Hello, hello, and welcome to What is Crypto? I'm Matt, and this is Crypto. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Casper, ticker symbol KAS. Firstly, a bit about my channel. Here I give to the point crypto information and education and discuss all things crypto. I try to be short and sweet as time is money and money is more coins and tokens to fill up those bags. If this sounds like it could be something for you, then smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It'll only take two seconds, legends, and hey, you can always unsubscribe later if I don't live up to your expectations. Alrighty, so firstly, if you haven't seen my video on what is Casper, you should really check that out. It gives a really good look into the technicals around Casper, their goals, the team behind it, and really what Casper is and does and sets out to do. I think it's a really good place to start and well worth a few minutes of your time. All right, let's get into it for today. So I'm making this video, as you know what? I'm so damn excited about Casper. I'll say it now, we are so early to this still. We are here in mid-2023. The markets aren't excited, but I am. We are early to Casper. People may think, hey, this is a really, really green project. It's too young to seriously get bullish about it. It's too young to buy it and add it to your portfolio. But you know what isn't new or young? The team behind Casper. This team led by a man named Jotun Sompolinski, who was mentioned in the Ethereum white paper. This is an experienced team, make no mistake. This team is far from green. They are highly experienced in the crypto space. We're talking about a project as well that has the potential to be silver to Bitcoin's gold. Let that sink in for a second. It is more transferable. It has better technology. It is currently the world's fastest proof of work engine. It is highly decentralized through its fair launch and it incentivized the continued decentralization through its mining. It also addresses the issues faced by Bitcoin. Now this is not to crap on Bitcoin by any means. And full disclosure, I'm a huge Bitcoin bull and I own a decent amount of Bitcoin. But Casper builds off the Bitcoin framework, aiming to become the peer-to-peer electronic cash system Bitcoin set out to be. It is fully open sourced and without centralized governance. It has good tokenomics, a really good team behind it, and a strong community supporting it. It also has an appealing name, Casper meaning silver, and it's just all around a really cool project. I'll say it again, we are early and I'm excited. It is also only listed on a couple of marketplaces. So usually I might be concerned about this if it wasn't for the experienced team and tried and tested technology behind it. I think this shows huge price potential as it currently isn't listed on Binance or Coinbase. And when these occur, these listings, this is going to generate a huge amount of excitement and really drag in some serious money not financial advice. Right now at under two cents, this could seriously be the deal of a lifetime. Yeah, you know what? It could drop to a cent and it is still a speculative play, but be seriously careful about waiting for that one cent mark. The psychological buy level of the one cent mark is real. People think, if it's at one cent, I can spend a thousand dollars and I can buy a hundred thousand coins. That means that if the project goes to a dollar, I'll have $100,000. Or I can buy a million coins and spend $10,000. And if it goes to a dollar, I'll be a millionaire. This one cent mark is a huge psychological barrier and be really careful waiting for it as it may never come. We are currently below two cents. The time is now. The time is 2023. Even if you're still bearish on the market and you like Casper, Divide up your buy amounts over 10 fortnights. Five months. Buy $200 a fortnight if you can afford it, which is $400 a month. Over five months is $2,000. If you're still bullish on cryptocurrency, then hopefully you should think that in five months' time, the worst hopefully will be over. Now, that's not to say a bull run will start in five months' time, but in five months' time... Hopefully, there won't be too much more downside. At least, that's how I'm seeing it. Also, this mitigates your risk. 
And if it does pump back up to the four cent mark, or say if it even goes to a 10 cent mark and fluctuates between the six, eight cents before the next bull run, this may prevent you from buying in. You might be waiting for that magical one cent price. And it may be a dip that never comes. That being said, I wouldn't dump your whole portfolio into it. It is a low cap. It is still speculative. But hey, I think this is a really promising project. And look, if money is tight, don't buy that coffee. Don't go out for that dinner. Buy cheaper food. You can always cut costs. Now, I know not everyone can afford to put 10K into it. Hell, I'm not going to drop 10K into it right now. I still work a full-time job. And money is somewhat tight. Over the last few months, I've been cutting corners. I've been eating frozen meals. I haven't been spending as much money. And it's remarkable how much money you can save. Everyone is talking about the importance of narratives within crypto. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. The narratives currently being spoken about, though, are AI, blockchain gaming, China Asian coins. But you know what is currently being overlooked? I mean, it's not being overlooked in the general financial space, but I really think that Casper filling the narrative that Bitcoin was intended to fill currently aligns with banking collapses, the distrust of banks, the distrust of fractionalized reserve banking, a broken old system of bad debt upon worse debt, the original narrative that Satoshi envisioned with his peer-to-peer -peer electronic payment system goal. Preventing centralized entities, controlling our money, and inflation making our money worthless. This is just food for thought and not financial advice, but hey, I appreciate your time and as always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, I appreciate you. Cheers, legends. Good luck out there. Stay safe. Don't drop all your money into this, but you could do definitely worse than popping 5% of your portfolio in here. Even if you spent $100 on it. Imagine if you had to bought Bitcoin early with just 100 bucks. Also, if you have any questions, think I could do things better, please feel free to let me know in the comments. If you have any other projects you think I should have a look into, let me know in the comments and I'll try and do a deep dive into them. Still new in this space, so yeah, any feedback would be awesome. Cheers, legends. I'll catch you in the next one.